Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. Today we're ice fishing for some perch at Northern Pike on that lake we were on a few days ago, Lake 16 and Lake Orion. Uh, I've got my little personal shelter set up. We're just braving the 40 degree weather instead of the negative 40 degree weather. Jigging some wax worms, got some minnows on tip ups. Uh, enjoying the new heater and the weather, man. Thanks for joining me. I found the weed bed that John and I were looking for and the drop off that we were looking for a few days ago. So I'm now I'm fishing the weed bed and the drop off. Just jigging around. Oh, we've been jigging around for a little over an hour. I haven't really seen anything. All the small little minnows died and I didn't want to run all the way out to the bait shop, you know, half an hour away. So just using the wax worms, you can get a gas station and got to actively move those. Still haven't seen much of anything. Gonna go check my tip up and I put a free line out actually, which is just, you know, like a like a pole stuck in the snow. It's got a minnow on the end of it. Probably gonna go check those out. Maybe jig around the other holes I drilled, see what's going on. So that's the little free pole rig I'm using. Just down into that hole. Gonna check the minnow. See if he's still alive. Uh, he's barely flopping So we're gonna go ahead and Swap him out uh, When you're hooking them Really want to not hit anything vital so they swim a bunch And you just let them swim on down that hole Well, it hasn't gone off which I guess is fine. We're gonna see if the minnow on there is still kicking. Oh Yeah Look at him, he's fighting good. He's a happy minnow. We're gonna leave him on there, let him do his thing. Gave him a lot of line because he wanted to swim out and I figure the bigger territory he can cover, the happier I'll be. All right, then we'll just reset that flag. We're good to go. Figure while we're out here, might as well jig around a couple of these other holes we drilled a little bit. Find something, you know, waiting to be stirred up. Oh, this is about the same depth John and I were in the other day. We found a bunch of those perch. Oh, this one's just a little bit deeper out. It's got more of that dirt sandy bottom. Less of the weeds, but it's getting closer to that drop off. What I've been doing is I just drill, you know, a crisscross of holes, drill, you know, six or seven, a dozen, whatever it takes, 10, 20, 30 yards apart. Just try and explore the whole area until I find somewhere I like, and then I can keep coming back to that spot. Well, we still got one more hole to jig out. We'll check it out. We're real shallow here, boys and girls. Deep into the weed bed. Oh, this might only be like two feet of water. We'll see, we'll stay here for a minute, jig around. Bluegills like weed beds, so maybe we'll find some of them. So, I mean, you can kind of see my setup. My run starts there. My shanty's in the middle and goes out to the tip up up there, and then I got a cross section across there. And I just walk through them and jig them on and off and on and move my tip up through them and go back to the shelter in the middle to get warm. It's not, uh, it's not perfect, but it works.
Real quick, let's talk about some finer points of ice fishing. Things you'll want. Some kind of ice cleat for your boot. Makes it a better day when you're not falling, getting wet. Speaking of wet, you'll want a bag that you can keep everything dry in. I just have a dry bag like for canoeing. You want a spud or something you can probe the ice with. Big long metal dealie right there. It's like a long chisel on a pole. And I borrowed my dad's power auger because hand drilling holes is a pain in the butt. And you'll spend half your day just drilling holes by hand. If you're not lucky enough to have a power auger though, just get out early. Bait bucket, super great. If you're gonna be using minnows at all, it's almost a necessity. They're gonna freeze on the ice otherwise, insulated. My sled is my shelter. It's, there's guys out here with, you know, $100 insulated shelters and stuff, but I just bought mine. Facebook Marketplace, it's a jet sled with the runners, and a little fold-out shelter built on the top. It's great. I love it. Keeps you warm. Great for one person. Ooh, I'm back in the shelter now. I'm uh, going to fire the heater up to dry off my pants. It's not actually that cold, but it'd be nice to have dry knees. And in here, you know, I've just got, I just use my pole and I drop her down into the hole and I sit here and I jig. I mean, you're just trying to pass the time in between checking other holes, waiting for that school of fish to get to you. And sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it doesn't get to you, but I mean, I'd rather spend a day on the ice than in the office, eh? I'm clearly no stranger to this fishing hole. I mean, uh, Lake 16's right by where I grew up. You know, I grew up on Lake Orion, but Lake 16's where my dad brought me when we were little before we moved to the lake to learn how to ice fish and stuff. You know, it's not too great during the summer. You know, there's really a lot of people to be casting off the dock, but for ice fishing, it's great. I mean, the parking lot doesn't physically hold more cars than you could fit people on the lake. So it's pretty great until they start parking on the lake. Yeah, this is just where I learned to ice fish with my dad. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll come out and ice fish with us sometime. Get him on video with that. I love father-son trips. Good stuff. It's good, good YouTube. I'm just gonna jig around for a while and uh, kind of check the time and stuff. See what time sunset is. Uh, I've got glow jigs. My plan is to stay out a little bit after dark and see if anything hits. But uh, I haven't seen anything right now. I might want to drop more holes. At least I'm warm, having a good time, comfortable. You know. I haven't seen any fish, but it's been in the high 30s, low 40s all day. And the last time I was out here, it was negative 40. It's been a pretty great day. It's starting to get a little dark. I'm gonna go check my tip up, check my free pole, swap a glow jig on. I'm probably only gonna stay out about an hour after dark because, you know, I haven't been seeing anything, but loving this new heater. It's keeping all my stuff nice and dry. These are our jigs, you know, I just got a five pack off Amazon. Gives you like 10 of each or something. I'm gonna shine them with the light. See what's left glowing when I turn it off. Oh, look at that. So, you know, even though these ones and these ones kind of look like they're going to glow, it's pretty obvious which ones are going to glow. I think we're going to take these smaller ones right here and uh, try those out. And you're going to want to come through that top loop you made again. It's good to go. Oh yeah, look at it glow. My glow lure, got some wax worms on there. Oh yeah, you can still kind of see it, neat. Let's see, I'll get my headlamp on there real quick so you can see her down there. You just have to believe me that it's down there and glowing. Oh look, yeah, there you go. Well, I'm not really seeing much and you guys can't see what I'm doing. I guess this is a good time to let you go. I'm gonna pack up in a little bit here. If you like this video where we didn't see any fish, or if you didn't, you know, please give it the uh, thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, wherever it is down there. And uh, you know, thanks for watching. This is MI Adventure Life. Thanks guys.